Congratulations. I want to bring it back here for a second as he hits 200 career goals. Just an awesome night and one that he will never forget. And another souvenir puck to his collection and already what has been an impressive career thus far. All right, a couple of other notable moments from the game. Great night to be on the couch and watching hockey. Tons of scores around the league. Let's take a look at what went down. The Oilers were hoping to fly high on the road against the Hurricanes. Edmonton pulls this one out in overtime. No shortage of action in the National Hockey League. Let's take a look at elsewhere what went down. The Cats were hoping to grab two points up against the Capitals. Washington tops the opposition in a game that had a little bit of everything on this night. The Wild played a game against the Sharks. San Jose played a complete game in this one and easily get the regulation win. <laughs> Lots more still to come, including the story in the MMA, the hardwood and more. Stay with us. Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Oilers were in a dogfight on the road against the Islanders. The New York Islanders take this one thanks to an impressive display of shooting. There were other games beyond just this one here in the NHL tonight. Let's get you caught up on some of those finals. The Hurricanes were hoping to take a bite out of the Penguins. Pittsburgh pulled this one out with a strong defensive effort. The Preds went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Wild. Minnesota takes this one thanks to a strong defensive effort. We got to take a quick break, but we got a lot more coming your way next.
Well, let's take a look at how the standings were impacted with some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Golden Knights took to the ice for a collision with the Oilers. Edmonton pitches a shutout in this one. The Hawks were on the road to take on the Red Wings. Chicago terrorized their opponents. Where have we heard that before? And they pick up the win. The Maple Leafs were on the road to take on the Ducks. Toronto picks up the win after needing a shootout to go the distance. A very special guest drops by on the show, and we'll do that next. Let's take a look at some of the final scores in the league tonight. The Oilers were looking to steal two against the Flames. Edmonton. Now let's take a look at some of the rest of the action tonight in the NHL. The Oilers took to the ice to let's battle the go. Post the win with a Ten million followers. Most. Well, that's all she wrote for this one, but let's get you caught up on some of the other finals in the matchups tonight. The Flyers were hoping to play spoiler against the Devils. Philadelphia tapped into another gear late, and they pick up the victory. The Flames had a tall order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Wild. Minnesota presents a pretty performance in the shootout and get the win. Time for a quick break, but we got a lot more coming up on the... Let's go! Um.
Maybe we're we'll rocking reverse retro too. No, 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 we're not. They're not gonna catch up. Let's go! Yes, 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 second round, second round, second round, second round, second round, here we go, second round. We're in the second round. All right, we're gonna win this one. I hope. And bam, winning already. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, damn it. You win some, you lose some. Two o, three o, three one. Let's go. One to one. All right, two to two. Three to two, let's go. Come on. Second round, second round, second round, second round. Whew. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Sorry, no, no, uh, knock on wood, hold on. Knocked on wood, okay. Two. Okay, that's one nothing. We're winning one nothing so far. Don't get too cocky. Yes, 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 two to one. Okay, three to three, three to three.
fuck. No. No. Hey, look, it, it, you know, I get why the fan base is disappointed, right? Hey, look, you, you, you play to win, right? You play to win the game. You want to win championships. And I, I will say this. I, I loved what the coaching staff had to say about his play because of the fact that, man, he was noticeable every night. He brought it, right? You know, you can't look at him and say, you know what? We didn't get enough out of him. He was great in the post. Oh, I could I could go to another team if I wanted to. Oh, I want to see what I, I feel like a lot of them are gonna have contracts. I feel like I'm gonna have more than two. I feel like I'm gonna have more than just Oilers and something else. We lost to the Blackhawks and they won. Seriously. All right, all right. Any second now. Hold on, hold on. Waver, waver. All right, all right. Any second now. Oh, oh. I guarantee they still don't have OV, so. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta go take a piss.
You know, and I think one of the other storylines to me that I'm intrigued by is, you know, you look at what we've seen from him, and yes, we all know he's a talented player, but can he win? Can he win the Stanley Cup? And I think that question needs to be asked now because, you know, he's been in the league for more than a half a decade. I like what he said this week, that he's all in, that he is ready to be in it to win it. Um, you know, I think he's going to need his teammates to be in that same mindset as well, right? I mean, he can only control what he can control, but let's see if there's a different player out there on the ice this year because, you know, I think there's, there's a lot of talent there, but I think a lot of people have kind of seen, like, can he break on through to be great, right? There's very good, and then there's great. And I think we're waiting to see if he can make that jump and win the Stanley Cup. All right, to the phones we go. Matthew is on line four. You know, I, I will say this, and I think the fans love him. I think they've been really impressed with what they've seen in the early goings of his career. I think the media really like what they see. But I think it's also a valid question that I think a lot of people that cover this team are asking. Can he be that cornerstone? Can he be that franchise player? You know, he's certainly shown flashes of it, right? He's shown flashes, and I think that's why you see so many people buying jerseys with his name and number on the back. But I don't think I'm ready to anoint him a franchise cornerstone player just yet. He's got all the makings to be, but I still want to see more going forward. Let's go to the phones. How you feeling about this one? Let's take a look around the league and some of the final scores out there tonight. The Avalanche played a game against the Flyers. Philadelphia turns in a strong defensive effort, enough to preserve the win. The Hurricanes were hoping their offense would show up in a big way against the Sabres. Buffalo puts on a clinical offensive display in the win. The Blackhawks were looking to grab points on the road against the Penguins. Pittsburgh took this one thanks to a beautiful performance in goal and the shutout win. Don't go anywhere. We've got much more here on the show. Let's check in on some of the final scores across the league tonight. The Caps were on the road up against the Panthers. Washington plasters the opposition with a strong offensive performance. The Blackhawks took to the road to match up with the Red Wings. Chicago terrorized their opponents with a big offensive night. The Flames battled it out against the Jets. Winnipeg puts on a show in the shootout and get the win. Hey, we gotta pay a couple of bills here, but we got a lot more action we gotta get to. Stay with us.
right, Jonah, I appreciate that perspective. And, you know, it is that sort of consistency that he has brought to the table on a nightly basis since breaking into the National Hockey League and a big reason why he gets career point number 400 in this one. Congratulations, a remarkable number, a remarkable achievement, and really, in my opinion, showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon. All right, back to the phones we go. Let's check in with Leon. Busy night of action on the ice. Let's take a look at some of the finals that are in from tonight. The Pens faced off with the Sharks. San Jose turns in a complete effort, and it's enough to pick up the win. The Bolts took to the ice to lock up with the Devils. New Jersey posts the win thanks to a big offensive effort. The Stars faced off against the Senators. Dallas technically superior in this one, and they skate away with the victory. We are as cool as ice, and we are bringing you many more stories from the NHL. We're doing it next. All right, let's get all you poolies and all you hockey fans caught up on all the action out on the ice tonight. The Capitals took to the road to match up with the Rangers. The New York Rangers tough this one out, and they get the two points. The Blue Jackets took on the Wild. Columbus took this one after lighting the lamp multiple times in the shootout. The Blues were hoping to quiet the crowd on the road against the Stars. St. Louis pulled this one out, needing a shootout to get the extra point. We got to take a quick break, everybody, but we've got a lot more to get to. Stay with us. All right, lots of wild happenings on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores and what went down. The Sins were looking to steal two points against the Red Wings. Detroit topples their opponents with a strong effort. 
The Kraken played on the road against the Golden Knights. Vegas played pad the stats night, winning easily in this one. The Ducks had their hands full with the Sharks. Anaheim takes this one in a tightly contested affair, and the bragging rights to go with it. We'll check the inbox, we'll check the text line, and hear what you have to say next. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and what went down tonight on the ice. The Islanders look to run rough shot over the Oilers. Edmonton pulls one out in a nail-biter. The Blues had an on-ice collision with the Blackhawks. Chicago talked a big game going in. They back it up with a clean sheet shutout win. The Lightning paired up with the Panthers. Florida peppered the opposite. All right, at this time, let's get you caught up on all the action on the ice tonight. The Blues were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Flyers. St. Louis toughs one out and pick up the win. The Predators were in tough with the Kraken. Seattle performed brilliantly in the skills competition, and they get the shootout win. The Canadians were in a dogfight on the road up against the Hurricanes. Carolina takes this one in a nail-biter. Hey, a few more hot button issues we gotta get to. It's a jam packed show tonight. Stick around.
I think we can all agree. We like how he plays. We like the skill set. But you have got to play with a little more fire, a little more compete. You gotta turn that care meter up. Like, you know, find that dial that goes to 11, you know, 11, 11, 11, 11. Turn it up, crank that sucker up. And I think that's exactly the message that the coaching staff has been trying to preach. The skill's there, the talent's there. But man, it is frustrating to watch when it doesn't come together on a regular basis. Back to the phones we go. We got Pedram on line four. Was there any volatility in the standings across the NHL tonight? Well, let's take a look at some of the final scores to find out. The Knights were hoping to fly high on the road against the Oilers. Vegas posts a win in a close one. The Islanders were hoping to grab two points up against the Senators. The New York Islanders turned it up a notch in the skills competition, and they get the two points. The Habs were in a dogfight on the road against the Panthers. Montreal padded the stats in this one, scoring at will. We got to take a quick pause for the cause, but we got a lot more coming up on the other side. Stay with us. And coming into this one, can he hit 50? That's what we're wondering right there on the cut line can they hit that 50 goal mark that would be a fun storyline to track as we inch closer and closer to puck drop ray ferraro will join me up in the broadcast booth in just a few minutes we'll get his thoughts as we get ready Congratulations again, uh, 50 goals in the season. You know, to this day, and it's always been revered as that magical mark. Ever since Rocket Richard hit it how many years ago, and here we are even now after all these years, even in a different century, we still look to 50 as being a magical number in the National Hockey League. So congratulations on hitting 50. That's one time when you turn 50 that it's okay, right? right. Another 50-goal season. Let's go. I'm on a W. Hey, no shortage of action and drama on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at what All right, happened also, elsewhere. let's put on the... the Jets were hoping to take a bite out of the Oilers. Winnipeg teed up a victory in a tightly contested affair. All right, that wasn't the only action on the ice. Let's go elsewhere around the National Hockey League. The Penguins went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Flyers. Philadelphia proves that offense is the difference in this one as they skate away with the win. The Golden Knights took to the ice for a collision with the Stars. Dallas tore it up on the score sheet, easily coming away with the win. We got a jam-packed show. We've got a lot more stuff we got to get to, so don't even think about going anywhere. Stay with us.
I have almost a hundred points in this season. Time to take a look at what happened around the league as we check in on some of the scores. The Blue Jackets were on the road to take on the Oilers. Columbus pulled this one out and went to... Well, busy night in the National Hockey League. Let's see what happened elsewhere on the ice. The Oilers were on the road to take on the Predators. Nashville totally dominant in this one, scoring at will, it seemed, in the win. Time to look at what was happening elsewhere in the NHL schedule. <coughs> the Hawks were looking to steal two against the Stars.